Back with another prize pick, six pick flex for you here today. Hopefully you tuned into yesterday's video and cashed in on the free picks, giving out my own slips, my own VIP plays here for free on the channel. If you're new, yesterday we went four for five on picks. Cash the Stallings, cash the Will Smith, the Freddie Freeman, and the UC Kikuchi props. Unfortunately, Max Freed let us down in the sixth inning. All he would have had to do to hit this prop would have been to make it to the sixth inning without giving up any runs. He would have got the quality start bonus. He would have hit that prop, unfortunately. He let us down in the sixth inning, went downhill, and did not cash. But overall, we doubled up yesterday. Ryan McMahon ended up being a DNP, which stunk, but it turned into a five-pick flex, which is still optimal. All these plays got bumped for the most part and or removed. So ran the five-pick flex. Results were great. Once again, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to only be sharing with you guys actual plays that I am playing myself that I am actually sending over to my VIP members here on the channel Actual plays, breaking down the process. If you go back to yesterday's video, you're going to see me break down every single one of these plays before the game happened. You see the results now. It's all legitimate. And do want to give some shout-outs to some VIP members over in the Discord here today because I love seeing this stuff. This is what makes me happy. Plus 20 units for mixing KJK's picks plus promos on Chalkboard. So not only are you getting my props for every single sport, every single app that I cover, but obviously there are tons of ways to use this package, which was my goal going into it. I want to be able to provide as much value as possible. Pro Gamer, using the props, right? I provide these on better picks, prize picks, underdog fantasy, getting the same value. Yesterday's Kikuchi over 6.5 strikeouts, right? Turned 20 into $60.60. The Will Smith over 2.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. You see, once again, he cashed in on that. So not only are you getting my tickets as soon as I place them, just like I'm sharing with you here, you're getting every single app, every single sport that I cover, all props, and I'm building it out even more to provide sports books, ramping it up here. The price tag is $49.99 a month. That is $1.66 a day. If you are someone that's tuning into these videos, enjoying the content, you're like, this guy knows what you're talking about. You need to hop over there as soon as possible. Just showed you some success that my members are having. And we're going to be breaking down this six pick flex that I just locked in myself that I did send over to them. It's a one unit play. We're breaking down exactly why I like these plays, just like we did yesterday. And... They are VIP plays. I'm giving them to you for free. Some of the comments I get is he just gives out losing plays for the free content, hides it for the VIP. I'm quite literally giving you VIP plays and plays I'm playing myself for free. I don't know if any other content creators are out there doing this. I know tons of people offer a VIP package, right? These videos are me coming on. I'm sharing one six pick flex with you. We run all five and six pick flexes. On this channel because if we are able to hit our picks at a 60% hit rate or higher in six pick flexes we're gonna 66% return on investment you see the results of yesterday's video it's all public you can go back and watch me break it down and then you can see the results after here guys we hit 80% of our picks one two three four of the five okay so like that's an 80% hit rate do I hit my picks at 80% hit rate every day no. Do I need you to profit? No. 60% or higher is what we're aiming for. Okay, guys? So that's what I teach. If you head on over to VIP, I'm going to teach you a ton of other things. I'll pull it up on the screen right now. The reason I do this again, this is free game for you. This is my bankroll management channel on the Discord. If you're really looking to learn, I'd suggest you listen to what I say here. The reason we're running these is you only have to sweep two out of every 46, man. This is the, this is the example I use. This is a worst case example. You can pause the video and read this. If you're playing 46 bands and you're putting $100 on each one, that's $4,000 investment. Every time you sweep, it's $2,500. You're going to use 25 x in your money. You could literally lose 38, only get six out of six correct, and two of them, and you're up $1,000. Right? You put in $4,000, you swept twice, you won $5,000, you're up $1,000. And that's not factoring in the double ups and the four out of sixes. Right? So, I mean, this is going to happen a lot. It sucks. But we double our money, we move on. Okay, actual plays I'm sharing with you in this video, VIP plays, I'm just sharing them free for free. This is the slip we're going to be breaking down today that I just did lock in, that I did just send over there, right? So we'll break down play by play, why I like to play, everything that goes into the back end, and then I'm just sharing it with you for free. That's how these videos are going to work. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Because you're going to want to tune in. I'm trying to give as much value for free. And this is a one unit play. So I placed, sent over to them. If bumps happen, I can't control it. A lot of times plays are going to get bumped because when you get good value, plays are going to either move 
or get taken off the board. But I'm coming on, breaking down the props, giving you actual plays. I don't want to be just giving you random plays. I'm giving you actual plays that I'm playing. It's important to me that I am showing you what goes into the process and I'm giving you actual plays I'm playing. That's how this channel works. I don't know about the other people you're watching. That's how this works around here, okay? So let's get into the breakdown. I'll have the VIP link below in the description. If you're a new user to PrizePix and you have not signed up, guys, go ahead and use the promo code KJKDFS. They're going to match you all the way up to $100. With that promo code, you can get a free $100 to go ahead and lock in these plays today. And the first pick we are going to discuss is going to be the Duana Bonner under 6.5 rebounds. Why do I like this prop? There's a lot of different things that go into my process here. And we can go ahead and break them down. One thing is going to be market data. I think we're actually going to start with Brianna Jones here. I've already got her loaded into the Daily Guy Fantasy Optimizer. This is one of the tools that I use, guys. It is, as I stated, the Daily Guy Fantasy Optimizer. It's a fantastic tool. Use the promo code KJKTFS and or my link down below to get 25% off this tool. I only bring up things that I'm actually using. This is something that I actually use every day. The best possible prop on the board for Brianna Jones rebounds is over 4.5 rebounds. Why is that? Because we have... Sportsbooks telling us there's millions of dollars of data invested into sportsbooks to set appropriate lines if you're new to sports betting. I always explain it like this because I think this is the easiest way to understand. This is minus 130 on the over on drafting. So what they're saying is this is such a good prop. She's more likely to go over the 4.5 than under. That if you're going to bet on the over, you're going to have to risk $130 to win $100. You're going to have to risk more than you're going to win because it's likely to happen. That's how these sportsbooks work. Okay, I think that's the easiest way to explain it to someone that has like no idea they're just starting out here. So we have multiple data points telling us she's favored to go over. Minus 125 on the over on FanDuel, minus 130, minus 130, minus 130, minus 145. Okay, the other guy in Fantasy Optimizer, one of the tools I love to use for market research. Another tool that I love to use for market research where we can get more detailed is OddsJam. Once again, KJKDFS will get you 35% off this tool, hooking you up with some discounts. This is the OddsJam Sportsbook screen, which pulls in every single sportsbook under the sun, that's offering a line for this prop. So we can get even more detailed if we'd like. 130 on the over here on Golden Nugget. Minus 130 on the over on four wins. Minus 145 on the over on flip. So they're like, this is a really good prop. You're going to have to risk a ton over there. Minus 159 on Sleeper. If you're someone that uses the Sleeper app, uh, that's a popular app for uh, props. Like they're saying, this is just a crazy, there's a crazy good chance that the over is going to hit. We're going to charge you minus 159. All right, so we have all these different data points telling us that Brianna Jones prop is a good prop. And then last but not least, we can certainly look at the, you know, the matchup data and all that stuff. That's all factored into these millions of dollars of sports books data. I talk about it all the time. Um, like everything that you think that you can research, the market has already researched and put into everything. So Brianna Jones in this matchup against the... Sparks, shocker, they give up a lot of rebounds to opposing centers. They are giving up 7.9 rebounds per game to opposing centers. So, they're giving up a ton of rebounds to opposing centers. Brianna Jones is the starting center for the Connecticut Sun, if you were not aware, down low. And the entire market is reflecting that in the lines. So this is the stuff that people don't quite seem to understand if you're coming on the channel and you're new to this and you're like, this guy's just looking at these lines. Why is he looking at these lines? He's not doing any research. What's wrong with his head? I just pulled up the actual statistics and they all match the market. Shocker, because the market knows more than you do. So we can use the market to our advantage to find good props on prize picks and other DFS props apps. They're giving up over seven rebounds per game to center starters. Brianna Jones' line is at 4.5 on prize picks. So we like the over here for her today, okay? And we can correlate this. Another reason I like this slip is there's good value on Dewana Bonner's under 6.5 rebounds. Both of these ladies play on the same team. If you're new to this channel, you're going to hear me talk about this quite frequently. If you've been listening to my content, you might have already heard me talk about this before. But when there's two players on a team, only one player can grab every rebound, right? So Dewana Bonner's at the forward position down low next to Brianna Jones. Brianna Jones at the center position. We are taking the over rebounds on Brianna Jones. Every rebound can only be grabbed by one player on the Connecticut Sun. They're both on the same team. 
Just so happens that Brianna Jones is in a position where we just discussed they're giving up a lot of rebounds to centers. DeWanna Bonner, however, they're not giving up as many rebounds to the four position, and this is all going to be reflected in the market again. But if we want to go ahead and pull up her in the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, guys, this is a tool. It's, it's a really simple concept. It's a fantastic tool. You can see the market is ripping towards her under right now. Like, this is even better than it was when I locked this prop in, as a matter of fact. She's all the way up to minus 148 on the under on FanDuel. Minus 135 on the under on DraftKings. Minus 130 on the under on BetMGM. So this is an insanely good prop. There's a good chance this is going to get bumped. And if you're tuning in my content, you're going to get annoyed because you want to get the slips in with us, which I understand. But you have to understand, I don't control the market. It's my job to attack at the right time, find the best value, and give us the best chance to win, which is what I do for my own tickets, what I do for my VIP members, and what I do for free for you on the channel here, right? So you can see the market's ripping towards her under. It's just telling us you'd have to risk $148 to win $100 on FanDuel to take the under on this prop because it's so likely she stays under six and a half. They're like, we're not giving this to you for cheap at all. So we're getting some great correlation, that concept that I discussed, because we want Brianna Jones to grab all the rebounds. She's on the same team as DeWanna Bonner, who we have going under. So Jones is going to grab the rebounds. Bonner can't, it's going to help Jones go over and Bonner stay under in the same ticket. It's a smart strategy that I use on many of my tickets when I can find value on the over and under on players on the same team, okay? And then we're going to discuss the same concept with these next two ladies. It's going to be literally the same concept because it's the same prop and we're taking an over and under again. It's going to be John Cole Jones and Laney. Now, uh, Courtney Vandersloot is expected to stay out in this game, which has increased the minutes in a major way for Laney. If we look at the rotation... You can see Courtney Vandersloot, when she was in the lineup, was playing like 29, 23, 26 minutes. And Laney was, she only played 25 minutes in this game, 32. She's all the way up to the 35, 37, 33, 36 minutes now. So her minutes are going way up here. And uh, we once again have a matchup where John Paul Jones, not expected to pull down a lot of rebounds because of the return of Brittany Griner. The, the uh, Mercury have already been not giving up a lot of rebounds to opposing bigs. And now that Griner's returned, for those of you that are not familiar with Brittany Griner, she is a very tall center, uh, presence down low, which is not going to make it any easier for John Cole Jones to grab those rebounds. She is six foot eight, really good around the rim, really good at boxing out, obviously the bigs. Um, this is all factored into the market once again. I discuss all these concepts, but we can pull up the market. It's going to reflect all of these things for us. John Cole Jones is expected to go under here tonight. If we pull up the Daily Guy Fantasy Optimizer once again, it's just streamlining the sports books for us, guys. Simple concept, but very effective and very important. Minus 130 on the under on FanDuel. Once again, she's all the way up to minus 140 on Fliff. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five data points telling us. She's expected to go under here. All of these are juiced on the under, saying you'd have to risk more than you're going to win on the under because she's likely to stay under. Once again, we can go ahead and use the Odds Jam Sportsbook screen, another tool that I'm using. I'm literally just showing you live on these videos what's going into the process. We have so many data points telling us to take her under. Minus 130 on the under on Tepico here, okay? So you'd have to risk minus 130 there. Minus 130 on the under on FanDuel Ontario. Minus 130 on the under on Hard Rock. Minus 135 on Parlay Play. If you're someone that uses the Parlay Play app, you are getting a much worse price over there on the under than you are on prize picks in a five or six pick flex because in the five and six pick flexes, we're getting minus 119 implied odds, all right? So we're getting pretty good bang for our buck on this prop on prize picks. And we once again are going to correlate it with another prop for good correlation, two players on the same team. We want John Cole Jones to not be grabbing those rebounds, right? So we're going to take another player who's been stealing a lot of those boards from her as of late in Laney, who we discussed. The minutes are way up with no banner salute, right? We discussed the uh, Brittany Griner box out of John Paul Jones. You know, if those two can kind of get each other out of the paint, Laney can come in and steal some rebounds. It's going to help not only our John Paul Jones prop stay under, obviously, but Laney to hit her over. And we can certainly be looking at some market data for her here once again. You can see, shocker, all of these sports books are favoring her over, right? Minus 136 on the over on FanDuel. Minus 140 on Flip, right? So they're once again anticipating this is a really good prop for Laney to hit her over. And we're once again getting some good correlation because they're on the same team, guys. You get this concept that I'm going over here? 
So not only are we getting good value on the props, but we're maximizing our upside for a full six pick sweep here. Um, so John Cole Jones, Laney Hamilton, both on the same team, the New York Liberty. Only one player can grab every rebound on the New York Liberty. You guys get where I'm going with this, but these are all very important concepts that are going to help you win on these apps. The market data, right? The correlation. All of these things are going into my thought process when I'm building tickets, and it was the exact thought process that was going on in my head as I was building this one. So I'm sharing it with you. And um, once again, if we look at the underlying metrics, John Cole Jones, Phoenix, only giving up 6.2 rebounds per game to center starters. So it's all dialed in. Okay. The statistics match up. The market data matches up. I'm checking all these things, right? So it's just, it makes a ton of sense to take the under on John Paul Jones because not only is the market telling us, we discussed that, right? Every single one of these data points is saying her under. Also, the statistics are matching up, which is not a surprise to me because the market knows more than you do. Taking seven decades to find all these statistics, it's already built in with the millions of dollars they have built into the market to be average sports bettors, okay? And then last but not least, shocker, we got another two legs that are going to positively correlate. Keo Kalia Copper and Diana Tarasi, they both play on the same team. And we're going to be taking an over on one player and an under on the other. Okay, you got Diana Tarasi, Kalia Copper, guard position, the two guard for Tarasi. Copper is going to play at the three position. Both very heavy usage players. Uh, some of the top usage players in the entire WNBA, as a matter of fact, and they're on the same team. So Kalia Copper leads the entire WNBA. Uh, she's got a 33.5 usage rate on the season. And then if we go to uh, Diana Tarasi, she's got a 25.2% usage rate on the entire season. All right, so they're two of the heaviest usage players on the league. They are on the same team though, so only certain players can take and make shots, right? You follow me, same thing. Tarasi's 15th in the league in usage, Copper's number one. And we're taking the under on Kalia Copper in the points category. Now, if you pull up her last five game logs, which people love to do on the prize picks app, you might be saying, why are we taking her under? She's been balling out. She just dropped 30, 29, and 34. Well, this is a terrible matchup for her. So I was on her over last game, actually, against Seattle on her over fantasy score. I absolutely loved it. This situation, I do not love. This is a terrible matchup for her. Uh, the New York Liberty are only allowing 6.2 field goals per game to opposing forward one starters. So you see the little red frowny face there? That's bad. They're not giving up a lot of buckets, all right? So that's all factored into the market. If we go ahead and we pull up Kalia Copper here, the 22.5 on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, you could visit these sports books, but you're not going to be quick enough to beat these apps because they change the lines so quickly. So that's why the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer is so valuable to use to be able to get these props in before they're bumped and such. That's why I use the tool. Minus 125 on the under on FanDuel, minus 140 on the under on Flip. You'd have to risk $140 to win 100 on Flip. I've said it a thousand times, but you get the concept. It's so likely that it's going to stay under their sand. You're going to have to risk way more than you're going to win. Because she's going to most likely stay under, okay? So that's our next pick. Same team, right? We're expecting her to stay under. Diana Taurasi, someone's going to have to score. So instead of it being Copper's game, it's going to be a Diana Taurasi game. We're saying she's going to go over here, and the market's going to reflect it. The underlying metrics are going to reflect it. The statistics that I pull up on the screen for you guys, everything's pointing to her over here. We're looking at a bunch of different sports books with juice on her over. We have minus 122 on the over on FanDuel, minus 120 on the over on DraftKings, minus 125, minus 135 on the over on Fliff. All these different sports books telling us she's expected to go over her points prop here. And shocker, if we pull up the underlying metrics and the statistics as far as her position, the New York Liberty are giving up a lot of points to the two guard position. 3.6 field goals per game, right? This is comparing it in comparison to all the other teams around the league and saying whether they're giving up some of the most or the least. They're giving up a lot. Also, Tarasi's all the way up to 35.1 minutes in the last three games, whereas she was only playing 28 over the previous. So that's all factored into the projection as well here. And we can pull that up, certainly. The minutes are all factored in. Once again, 
the market knows this, but Tarasi, 34 minutes last game, 32 the time before, 39 the time before. So her minutes are getting up there. Bad matchup for Copper, good matchup for Tarasi. They're both heavy usage players. So we're taking Tarasi to do the bulk of the scoring here tonight. And we're taking Copper to have a bit of a tough game. That's all of the different things that go into my process. All of the things that were going through my head when building this ticket, I just broke down for you live in real time on the video, right? Just like I did yesterday. If you tuned in yesterday, hopefully I was help, helped you out for free with the free picks. And uh, just broke down for you exactly what went into them, right? Just like I did yesterday, you can go back and watch that video. And I explained everything before it happened. And then you see what happens after. Anybody can run their mouth after after the game is that they're the best or they know what they're talking about or they knew. That's you know, I get that in the comments. Oh, I knew I knew I knew Max Fried was gonna go under. I, I just had a feeling. Well, you didn't come on and explain to everyone exactly every single thing that goes into your process every single day and then get the seven comments from you saying that you suck and then do it again and again and again. And newsflash, I wouldn't have any subscribers if I didn't give out winning picks. Nobody would care about me. So hopefully that makes sense. I am here to help people that are here to listen. I'd love to help you even more for a dollar sixty-six cents a day. You can hop in the VIP member package. You get all my tickets as soon as I place them. My VIP play of the day, a bunch more. Yesterday it was Freddie Freeman. I gave that play out for free on the channel. I'm giving out free plays again. I gave out a ton for free. But on quite a roll with these. We had one play let us down lately. It was Jewel Lloyd, who unfortunately had a really crappy game. But we cashed the game before with the Asia Wilson under fantasy score. We cashed the game before with the Marina Mabry under fantasy score for my play of the day. We cashed the game before with the Asia Wilson over fantasy score for my play of the day. David Peterson's one that let us down. Cashed the day before with the under 10.5 rebounds. Cashed the day before with the under uh, 36.5. Fantasy score, as he Magogor let us down on this VIP play of the day. Cash the day before with Brianna Stewart's under. Cash the day before with the Garrett Crochet's over. Okay. And cash the day before with Jan Ren's over hitter fantasy score. So that's just another feature that I have in there. My top play of the day. These are all features that are requested oftentimes for my VIP members. And I add in more and more every day. And you get all my tickets, which I've only locked in one, which I'm sharing with you right now so far. So I have no issue pulling it up. So one unit play, I placed it myself, as you can see, one unit, whatever you typically play, $5, $10. And I just broke it down for you, every single reason as to what goes into every single one of these plays. So thanks for tuning in, wishing you all the best of luck on your prize picks, WMPA, player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.